Here in South Korea, former prime minister and current opposition party lawmaker Han Myung-suk was convicted this afternoon on charges of receiving illegal political funds in 2007. Korea's Supreme Court upheld an appellate court's two years prison sentence for Han. The 70-year-old politician was found guilty of accepting around 750,000 U.S. dollars in bribes from a businessman for influence peddling. She denied the accusations and was undergoing trials for the past five years. The conviction strips Han of her seat in parliament. She is also the first former prime minister to go to prison. Soon after the ruling, Han leaders and lawmakers of the main opposition New Politics Alliance for Democracy pleaded her innocence. They criticized the ruling as political persecution. Han served as the first gender equality minister during the Kim Dae-jung administration and the first ever female prime minister during the No Mu-hyun administration. Korea's rival parties agreed to hold the parliamentary inspection of the government offices starting next month. The three-week audit session will start from September 10th until just before the Chuseok holidays and then will resume on October 1st through 8th. The ruling Henry party wanted to hold the audit session as soon as the September regular session started. The main opposition NPAD agreed to the ruling bloc's demands as the National Assembly also needs to work on budget examinations for next year. However, with only three livelihood bills passed thus far and just two weeks remaining before the close of the August extraordinary session, concerns are mounting that it will fail to yield any significant results.